And just like that, Luton are in the fifth round of the FA Cup. In today's video, guys, I'm giving you my thoughts on that 2-1 away win in the FA Cup. What a performance. I'm super happy. I'm in a great mood. And yeah, we're in the fifth round of the FA Cup. Honestly, before the game, I had mixed feelings. I'm not going to lie to you. I had in the back of my head, I was like, should we just focus on the league? But if we can have an FA Cup run and, you know, generate more money, generate more momentum, generate more happy spirits in the camp, then why not? And we're doing exactly that. And the person who scored the winner, I'm super happy for as well, in Corley Woodrow. Someone who's received a lot of negative comments on social media ever since he's been a Luton Town player. Yes, the argument is, has he done enough in a Luton shirt? Probably still he hasn't. But to still keep going and to get that goal would do his confidence a lot. And it just helps everyone in that Luton Town team. But yeah, I'm happy. If we look at the starting eleven before the game, I was it was a very expected starting eleven. If I'm being brutally honest with you, I expected one or two changes, um, but it was a strong starting eleven. You know, okay, Kaminsky was on the bench. Tim Krul was starting. He actually started with Morris and Elijah up top, and I thought that actually worked. I thought they worked extremely well throughout the game. And yeah, it was a strong midfield, strong defence, no Osho in the team. Brown was currently injured, same with Mans Anderson as well. But it was a strong team. You know, Burke coming back from injury was a really, you know, nice surprise, good to see. And what a performance he put in as well. That first half performance, I thought was a really good first half performance, if I'm being brutally honest with you. Caused Everton lots of problems. We started the game off extremely well. Plenty of opportunities, but with the opportunities which we did create, we didn't really test the goalkeeper enough with them, and I felt we should have done better with certain opportunities, but we were still piling on the pressure. Away from home, we have this different mentality. It's definitely this away from home business, which is going to, I think, going to help us this season, especially stay up in the Premier League, fingers crossed. You know, really ruthless, not giving Everton much respect, making sure that the you know, the home crowd gets frustrated, which they did, and yeah, causing plenty of problems. Now, there's a lot of controversy, you know, controversial stuff about our first goal because Calvert Lewin got a two handed push by Ross Barkley um, in the build up to the goal, which ended up being an own goal. Um, Reese spoke with the header, and it, yeah, deflected off the Everton player, ended up being an own goal. Look, my thoughts are okay. Yes, it is a two-handed push, but it was really soft. I felt Calvert-Lewin didn't do enough to like stay, you know, to be more grounded. I felt it was just such an easy one to give. I think a weak referee would have gave that as a foul, but the problem is those types of challenges or fouls, if you want to call it, if you give that as a foul, you give you have to give like literally every single time, you know, a, you know, an aerial battle happens a foul. And I felt the referee done extremely well today. I thought he let both teams, you know, get a few tackles in. He let the game go. And it was like a proper old school FA Cup tie, I felt. And it was really enjoyable to watch that from home. It, I wish I was there, but it was fantastic to watch. And I'm really happy the ref let a lot of it go. And I just felt he made the correct decision. I think a weak referee would have gave that as a, pen um, as a foul. And it would definitely have not have been a goal. But I felt it w there wasn't enough in it. It was from, you know, especially when they slowed it down as well. There wasn't much in it. Okay, yes, it was two hands. You, there's an argument for it. But I think in football, you, some decisions go for you. Some de decisions go against you. Did Everton do enough to win the match? No. Did they do enough to get a draw? Maybe, but I don't think it was enough in my opinion, from their performance. I thought they were really poor. They haven't been the Everton which have, you know, been winning games in the Premier League, that's for sure. They definitely were, you know, under you know, under par today. But that second half performance, we came out, we should have scored more goals. Elijah had an opportunity one-on-one -on -one with the keeper. You know, it should have done better there. If you're going to shoot, you have to score. And if you don't score, you've got to pass. And if he passed the Townsend, it was literally a tapping from six yards out. Can't go wrong. And then we should have scored a third with Morris. 
uh, he, he tried to place it. If he just put his laces through it, it's a goal. Um, but yeah, that should have been a, a third as well. Fortunately, it didn't happen. Everton's goal, it, it was, okay, a mistake from Krull. I think he knows he could have done better. I think it was the only shot on target, which he had to actually do um, from memory. But if Amari Bell also didn't um, slip over, I felt he would have done more than enough to try to prevent that goal from happening. I thought defensively we'd done extremely well. Menji will definitely be a Premier League defender next season. If that's with Luton Town or with another club, I'm not too sure. He is Premier League standard defender. And the fact that we got him on the, you know, the transfer deal, which we did, is absolutely fantastic. Give him a five-year contract because what a boy, what a performance from him. Even, you know, getting a few knocks as well. You can tell he was batting him through that. And he was just putting his body on the line. You know, you know, Calvert-Lewin. Calvert-Lewin is a very good striker. Beto as well caused a few problems. He's very physical. And I felt our defence dealt with that extremely well. And, you know, if we can defend like that more often enough, you know, in the next couple of Premier League matches, yes, of course, we are going to get more Premier League wins and hopefully climb up that Premier League table and stay away from those bottom three places. But we have to keep repeating those types of performances. Are we going to? Probably not, but it's going to be difficult. And we have to try and maintain that level because that was really good performance, especially defensively. And I was really impressed with how um, we did, how we, how, what, how well we worked at the back. And yeah, Menji for me, wow. Doughty, he's crosses, you know, set pieces. We're, we're causing so many problems from set pieces, aren't we? Let's be, um, let's be honest. And again, two set pieces, obviously, in this game against Everton. They, I don't think they know how to defend set pieces against us because that's four set pieces now which we've scored from against Everton. So that will be probably the target for the next game, won't it? You know, when we play them at home in the league, just keep putting set pieces into the box. Um, keep, like, aim for set pieces and put plenty of crosses into the box and hope Elijah and Morris and whoever's on them try and get ahead on. But yeah, wow, I'm really happy. And, you know, even if some people may say, oh, I just want to focus on the Premier League, winning games in the cup, you know, if you can bring that momentum and take it into the league, then happy days, you know. Going into Brighton now, we're going to be with a bit more form, which is great to see. Um, hopefully, but, um, you know, the likes of Barkley, um, I know he, I think he got cramped during the game. It's not too bad. Um, and he can play against Brighton because obviously... Him being fit is very crucial. I thought Doughty coming off was the correct decision as well. Get, just rest his legs. Joe Johnson, the young star, thought he'd done extremely well when he came on. And obviously, yeah, that third goal, Luke Berry putting the ball in. Petty and Berry both running around in the midfield, you know, putting challenges in, you know, that pressure in, you know, running up and down. He puts in a fantastic ball into the box. You know, it, we get a bit of luck. But, you know, if you're not in the right place at the right time, then... You know, you don't score the goals, but Woodrow was, and he was there to, you know, obviously tap it in, and we walk away with the win, and we're in the fifth round of the FA Cup. So, yeah, super happy. My man of the match is Menji, because I thought he was absolutely fantastic. I, hope, I just can't wait to see more of him in a Luton shirt, but hopefully he doesn't get snapped up at the end of the season by another Premier League team, because rumours are, ha are coming about about that. So, But, yeah, well... Super happy, looking forward to what whatever happens next. But yeah, it's been it's going to be a few more you know roller coaster rides left this season for for us Luton fans, that's for sure. But if you did enjoy listening to my thoughts on that game, guys, please drop a like on the video, drop a comment um, below your thoughts on that win against Everton. Subscribe to the channel if you are new, and I'll see you all in the next one, which will probably be me talking about our next game against Brighton.